peeps, Julia Jordan, your favorite real estate agent out of beautiful Houston. Here is first day of school, my kids are off and I'm back to live videos to share with you all kind of real estate information. Today I'm coming to you with the question, what is a service animal and what is an emotional support animal? A support animal, you basically can qualify online for a small fee, $25, $125, how much ever these robbers decide to take out of your pocket um, and you can get qualified whatever is breathing because it is basically a piece of paper you fill in a name there is no qualification nothing um, I cannot recommend you to uh, do this some uh, tenants for example try to avoid the pet deposit by doing so and they hear about that uh, making the animal uh, support animal would help and avoid it but that is actually not true your animal would have to be a trained animal prescribed by the doctor <clears throat> Let's say you sit in a wheelchair and you have a trained dog to get you certain things out of the refrigerator or open doors for you, or you are blind and the dog is trained to help you cross the street. Um, I do not know, like going to the grocery, you know, all those different kinds where uh, dogs can help um, or any other. I mean, they're trained pigs, they're trained, I don't know what else, uh, a lot of animals are trained. So this animal, especially trained uh, to make up for a disability, that a person has. Disabilities are protected. People with disabilities um, are allowed to rent a home that is uh, qualified, no pets allowed. But in this moment, let's say they have a blind person has a dog that guides them. In this moment, the dog is like a wheelchair for a person that cannot walk. It The dog becomes a tool for the person. It is not seen as an animal anymore. And actually, the landlord would violate reg regulations by uh, disqualifying a tenant due to that reason yeah there has been recently a lot of fraud that people got their uh, whatever kind of animals usually it is some kind of aggressive breed dog um, as a service animal and try to get away and make it sound like it is a service animal what is not the case so what um, the people that make the regulations came up with now is that there's actually a $1,000 fee in a place in and it is uh, considered a offense, a criminal offense, um, if you purposefully um, are dishonest about if you have a disability or not, and if this is a service animal, a qualified service animal, or if this is simply a support animal because this, I don't know what, uh, cat or goldfish or a snake or dog or cat or whatever parrot makes you happy and it's just good for you a lot of people have animals to just feel good and enjoy their pets and that's why i have two pets and on a bad day they listen <laughs> Um, but this is not considered a, ser a real service anymore. So the regulations have changed. Uh, in the past, it was a $300 fee, um, and it has changed now to $1,000 to prohibit more strongly that people take advantage of the laws for disability, uh, for disability, disabled people and uh, that these benefits are actually for those that need them. Yeah, this is a little update, service animal and emotional support animal. And please do not go online and waste your money. If you rent a place, you will still have to pay pet deposit. And if you have a aggressive breed, a trick trick, um, the answer is that there are insurance providers that cover aggressive breeds. And that is usually the only excuse or the only reason why landlords do not want to have aggressive breeds because they risk their own insurance on the home uh, when there are aggressive breeds present. So there is a additional insurance that the tenant can um, pay for and then it would keep the landlord and the owner so the tenant safe and usually we get those tenants accepted. Those are the little tricks that you learn when you do uh, the least specialist course at HAR or property management course at HAR. So education always helps to help our peeps with leases, to help the landlords to not encroach on any regulations. If we actually have a disabled person we cannot discriminate um, and this happens mostly um, unknowingly um, and also of course to help all my clients continuous education is on my heart to help my peeps on the highest level and leases is just a tiny part of it okay you guys have a wonderful day i hope this information was good bye bye have a wonderful day Hello.